Hello, my name is Andy Tatsall and I'm an information specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. And welcome to episode 11 of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. So, in this short series of podcasts, it's about helping you to be a bit more productive with your writing and and to deal with those issues relating to technology. So in this um, podcast, I want to discuss the kind of things that's going to help your writing process be a bit more ordered, a little less painful, particularly at the end of the writing process. So firstly, whenever you're writing anything substantial like a report or a thesis or journal paper, it's essential that you use a reference management tool. So after you've conducted your literature search and collected multiple sources to support your hypothesis, it's better to have them in an ordered system than rather than a collection of loosely connected documents. So there's lots of tools out there that can help you and EndNote, Mendeley, Zotero and ReadCube are all very good at organizing and storing your supporting literature. There's two main reasons why you should do this and firstly it will save you the effort of manually creating a bibliography at the end of your project. If you're writing a thesis or a large systematic review, then that could be a lot of material that will be referenced at the end of the paper. If you submit into a journal and you're rejected, then the reference management package can change the reference list to the style and format of another journal with just a click of a button. It saves you having to go through and do it all manually. It also means that you've got all your supporting literature saved in one place and should you write about the same topic for another piece of research and you need to add fresh citations following an updated literature view, then you've got those references there in one place that you can locate them. One of the problems academic writers um, have when writing on a piece of uh, writing a piece of research is deciding where in their work to cite the supporting research. So again, this can be um, a bit of an issue and reference management tools can very much help with this with their site while you write option. But what happens when you don't actually know where to put the citation and you're struggling to fit those citations in but you know they are essential to your piece of work and they're going to support it. Uh, and you can go around in circles trying to decide where the best place is to cite that piece of work in, in your own writing. So a solution to this is to use a matrix um, and this is like one that's used by the thesis whisperer, uh, Inga Newberm. And I suggest you look at Inga's work um, uh, on her site, the thesis whisperer. Uh, just Google how to write faster and the thesis whisperer and you'll find out about uh, these matrix. But you simply deconstruct your piece of research down to its composite parts. Very much like creating a mind map but backwards. So from there you look at each of your support in literature, what it's written in relation to each part of your paper. So you find out those key arguments from the support in literature and you align them to the key arguments in your writing. So this kind of technique can acquire additional labor on your part, but it's worthwhile as an exercise. And I know people who've done this, I've advised people and they've done this and they found it really useful. So if you're struggling to supplement your research with appropriate references, then this, this is a good way to do it. And in the end, it could highlight that you're trying to cite research that is not really anything to do with your own work. Whatever you do, don't try and fit square pegs into round holes. So hopefully that will help you to structure and organise your research. It might be quite a hard move to move from having loads and loads of scribbled notes and documents and text documents to move into an actual reference management database. But if, you, if you've got a research career ahead of you, 10, 20, 30 years down the line, and you're going to be citing and, and citing research, then it's a really good habit into getting using tools like EndNote and Mendeley and Zotero um, to actually store and cite your references. It, they do work pretty well. So I do suggest you, you have a look at them. And there's loads of resources out there that will show you how to get more out of them. So my name is Andy Tatasol, and again, these tips hopefully will help you cut down on issues around digital distraction, how to be uh, more productive as a writer and more focused. Uh, and you can find more about these podcasts uh, via the links on uh, this particular site. So thanks a lot for listening and uh, good luck with your writing.